Welcome back to another episode of Tom's Garage. Had a lady yesterday bring me a push mower Troy built. Said it wouldn't crank. It looked to me like it was covered in oil. You know the story. But here it is. You know, I got to looking at it. I put it on the table. And I thought, well, you know, that's not oil. It's dry. I noticed it was on the head. Then I got to looking. Somebody has somebody has taken clear lacquer in a can, clear coat, and just painted this whole lawnmower with clear coat. Boy, how did it? Look at that. And I thought it was soaked in oil. I thought it blew all everywhere like they're famous for. But they didn't. And the sticker's missing. You're not going to find the model and serial number. But this thing, this whole thing has been... Somebody got a case of clear coat for Christmas. But we're going to check out this more and see why it won't crank. I don't think that clear coat's got anything to do with it. Or does it? I mean, look at that. They painted fuel lines and everything. Engine. Ooh. Hang loose, man. We're going to find out why this thing won't run. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is check the Earl. Always check the oil and everything out of the crank. And lift it up a little bit. Yeah, the oil's nice and clean, perfect level. That's good. That always tells you the state of maintenance these things are under. Let's pull the old air flitter off of it. Uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Ah, let's get this thing a pull. We'll see if it will crank. Bust my elbow on something. Always pick it up, check out the blade. Blade looks pretty good. Pretty good. Squirt a little carb cleaner, stick it in there right past the choke. Give it a squirt. Squirt. Waste a bunch of carb cleaner. Give it a good squirt this time. Well, she fires up and just dies. That tells us it's a fuel problem. So you know it's getting sparks, got compression. We wouldn't do that if it didn't. So let's pull the carburetor off, uh, the fuel tank off, give it a good cleaning and put it back together with some fresh fuel and see if that helps. Hang with. All right, let's pull this thing apart. Pull that thing apart. A little apart. Two little Phillips screws up here. Five sixteenths. This is a three eighths. Take that one bolt off down here in the bottom. Under the fuel thing. 
Don't lose that little spacer. Sixteenths back on there. All out of there. And take this back and plate off. Don't forget to hook that hose back up right there. I'm trying to hurry. This darn GoPro gets hot and quits. And the batteries don't last very long. I'm going to take. little lever here off be careful I have broken those before if you get it too tight when you put it back together careful careful it'll be buying any Careful, you'll get that on the clear coat and make it peel. Make the clear coat peel. Three eighths to get these bolts off. I'll just kind of toss them right there. Every time I work on one of these and I go to take that bolt right there off, it always knocks my socket off the end of the extension. Do y'all do that? every single time. Pull it off the throttle control. Well, let's, golly, look at that. Look at that bowl gasket right there. Oh, mushroomed. That ain't good. Looks like gasket sealer. Just a bowl gasket though. It ain't leaking. Okay. Pull the fuel tank off. What I'll do. I'm gonna dump this fuel out. A little quantum style engine. A little trash, but some of that trash could have fell off the outside of the tank too, so you can't really tail and always kind of look whatever's left in the bottom of it finish draining get it all out because i'm gonna take an air hose and turn this tank upside down and blow it and dry it out real good make sure there's no water or nothing in it condensation hmm. there's definitely something in it Hmm. Can y'all see down in your boat? A lot of little floaties. Lots of little floaties. Okay. Now we'll clean the old gas tank and take the carb to the bench and do a carb clean. Y'all hang. All right. Welcome back to Cooking Channel. Today. We're gonna make some beer battered pancakes from cube spam and scallops on the side. And I bet you that's why it won't crank. I don't know, I don't feel like it's clogged up. You can't ever tell though, I mean you have to, even though it don't look clogged, you got to run something through it. That's why I couldn't see through it, because my big fat finger was on the other side of it. So that's how you can tell, you can just get yourself an autoscope and get down in there. You got that lady that owns this little lawnmower, nice lady, she's just my neighbors. Relative. They had a birthday party over there the other day. And I tell you, she can make the best smoked chicken. Goodness gracious alive. I can still taste it. Mm. 
delicious. She brought me a whole plate of it, boy. Ooh, it ain't good. All right, let's see what's under this bowl. God, look at that gasket. Yeah, that's that's water. I don't know if you can see that. It's mostly agua. Swirled around, you can see it. See there. That's deformed right here, boy. Mm. Well. Get the hole. All I'm doing really is just blowing the water out of it. I can't tell you how many times just this week so far I've worked on push mowers. With water in it. The heat of the summer, so much humidity, is just ethanol fuel, it just draws it right out of the air. Heck, we ain't had rain in a week. And it's so humid. Yeah, there's a bunch of little bitty water droplets. You can almost see it. Little water droplets down there. Ooh, get down in there, boy. Can you smell it? Let me grab a bowl, guess. Some clean leaves. Okay. A little gasket on that mange out there. It don't look like it's in bad shape. We'll stick it back on. Make sure you start that on there real good. Run that down. Give it a good oomph. Who, who got me saying oomph? I think it was Rayleigh's got me saying oomph. Just give it an oomph. Oomph, oomph, oomph. Well, that looks pretty good. All right, let's go put it back together, boys. Oh, God, hey, let's get her put back together. Back together. One thing I ain't done yet is this. Puff, make sure that screen on the bottom's cleared up. Good enough. Good enough. These things are easy to cross the red. Because you can't get straight in at them. careful when you take this off because if you pull it out of its groove on that side you'll have to take the whole shroud off and get back how it goes. I believe. 
believe I may have done that. I don't believe I've done it. I gotta take the shroud off. I do, I do. No big deal. Take just a second. Well, we got one missing bolt. I'm glad I caught that. Two bolts in the front. The two bolts in the front are a little bit longer than the two in the back that holds it on. Don't know why. But it is. And it's missing one, so I gotta find one. Pull this cover off and you can see what I did. I got it all wedged up in the whew. I got it all wedged up in there. See how it'll it's gotta be brought up to right. There, this thing had fallen down in there and got caught. No big deal. I'll give them an extra three minutes of my life. That's auto choke when it's not running, when it's cold, it'll be choked. But when the engine spins, the wind off the flywheel catches that and opens the choke. This little lever right here runs off the muffler too and it will well, this is actually part of the governor, but it'll get hot and move. Anyway, I love these auto chokes, man. That was the best thing they ever done to these quantum engines. Got rid of that primer bulb. No dead, no dead. Let me find another bolt for this thing. Make sure this hole ain't stripped. Nope, just missing. Seven sixteenths on there. Get that spacer on the back side. Goes in right there. Nope, goes through that. I always like to get this one started first and tighten it last. Run it down a little bit. Oop. Not too tight yet. And these three little 5 sixteenths headed screws have the shoulder. The ones that holds the base plate don't, so don't get them mixed up. Don't get them mixed up. Ooh, 
It's Wednesday at noon. There goes the tornado sirens, man. This this sounds wicked. I'll turn the fan off so I can hear it. Can you hear that? It's actually kind of a cloudy day tomorrow and Friday's supposed to be a good chance of rain, man. Get a break from the heat. Get some fuel. Yeah, should have known not to do a video at noon on Wednesday. Go ahead and get fuel on it. That way we'll know if we got any leaks. That's enough fuel. Damn gas is over 360 a gallon now. That's why today I had to decide to not do any more pickups and deliveries. My shop's too busy, my car gets 12 miles a gallon. I can fix four lawnmowers by the time I go pick one up. It ain't worth it. I delivered my last one this morning. And I got all the way back to the house and the lady said she couldn't get the clutch to move. Evidently she's never used a parking brake on that John Deere E130. I had to go all the way back to her house to show her how to operate the parking brake. Bless her heart. It was her husband's tractor. He's gone. Wasted an hour and a half of my morning. You know, if I, if I, if, you know, I'm not making any more pickups and deliveries, half the people that call needing it may go somewhere else, but the other half are gonna find a way to get it to you and pick it up. So I'm, I'm still gonna be making money. It just ain't worth it. How are y'all? How are you y'all shop? Do y'all, do y'all still do pick? I ain't hiring nobody. I don't trust nobody. This is pretty cool. This is where they start the speaker system and start talking. Go ahead and listen. Maybe they're not going to do it. But yeah, it just ain't, it just, it just ain't worth it. That's pretty eerie, isn't it? But it ain't worth the time, the fuel, the wear and tear on your car, making pickups and deliveries. I mean, if I, if I needed it, if I had mechanics to pay, if I had overhead, absolutely. I'm the mechanic, I'm the business owner. I have to be the one to collect the money. I have to be the one to show the customer when you take it back, this is what we did, this is what we did. Operate it for them, show them. You're the mechanic. You're the. It's Tom W. Moore up there. You gotta be the one to take it to him and talk to him. It ain't, it ain't good business for me to send Joe Blow out there. That, you know, then they'll want to use your truck and trailer to do your deliveries. And uh, 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 no way. A lot of stress off of me, man. No more stress. Get everything off the table. Okay, the choke's operating. We've got everything we need. We've got fuel. Let's get this thing pulled. And there you go. Y'all let me know uh, if y'all have shops, if y'all have to deal with that. Have y'all in the past, or do you now, do you offer pickup and delivery? Uh, have you stopped doing it? 
uh, I just can't see paying somebody to do it. it. It's bad business for me. I just can't see. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching the video. Uh, tell somebody I said hey. Tell them I love them. And thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.